Okay, we're up here today about to walk around a 1968 Mustang convertible. We're here to point out any kind of flaws so you know what you're buying before you get here. This one's got a 289 under the hood. It does not have power steering. Pretty clean car inside and out. And we're doing a test drive video. I want you to check that out. That way you know more about the car. Um, head on over to maplemotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures. We provide that. Financing and shipping information. We do that on every car on the lot and we update the website with new inventory every Monday. What we're gonna do in this video is just pick out the flaws. We're gonna check the paint, check the interior, look underneath, get her started, and then we'll get back to the test drive video. All right, so we're gonna start up here in the front, guys. Let's do this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see daily videos from Maple Motors. Front bumper has been replaced, it's very clean. The front end on this looks pretty good as well as the grill in good shape. We're gonna be checking the lower parts of the doors first. We're gonna run down the body. There's a little scratch right there. It's a touch up mark. Coming up over the fender. Looks like a little spot in the paint right there. And a little dimple right there coming out. We also got some chips in the paint in the corner and a little scratch the lower part little scuffs on the trim where people are getting in and out of the car and a couple little chips right here as well very little chips right there by the trim coming back to mid section Getting pretty good I love this green. On top here, it looks like there's some uh, water marks down in the paint. I'm trying to get it to pop up. Maybe able to buff those out. There's a few of them on the car too. Little water marks. Got a chip in the corner there. Also have a chip on the hood here. A few more of those little water marks popping up too. Windshield's in good shape. Checking the trim around the windows. There's a little spot in the top right here. Uh, small amount of pitting trying to pop up on the door handle. Another spot on the top. Coming across that top, it is a little bit older. Uh, you can tell mostly back windows faded. But look across the top, it's got those water marks that I was talking about that were in the paint. Coming around the back end, all I did was pop the trunk open. We didn't hide anything. You see this back bumper? A little bit faded. It's not brand new like the front one. Same with the tail lights and the gas cap. Dual exhaust out the back. That's a magnet tag we stick on all the cars for the test drives. The jams look pretty good. Spare tire in the trunk with a jack. A little bit of moisture getting in here. I did wash the car before the video and it may have leaked in where I was spraying with pressure, but it did rain last night as well. I'm gonna say the water probably came from the hose pipe. Looking at the package tray, it's solid. Okay, we're gonna come down with the trunk lid, see how easily it shuts. Shuts pretty easy. Looking over the trunk lid. We do have a couple little chips right up here in the top. And some light scratches right here. Coming down this side. Do the same thing, we'll run the lower portion, come back to midsection and check the top. Then we'll get in the interior. A little scratch right here in the back. Coming up over the fender well here. 
a couple little bubbles trying to pop up right here on this edge. We also have, that's wax, it's trying to come off there. A couple chips on the bottom by the trim where it's scratched up on the trim. Light little bubble trying to pop up there and a couple chips right here in the front. Keep on heading down. Back to the midsection. Little wax left over there. Got a few chips popping up by the door handle. And a couple of scuffs on the door handle itself. And on top edge here. Little piece hanging there on the top. Okay, we've made it all the way around the car. We're gonna jump on the interior, check it out, and we'll get it started up, and then we'll check out the undercarriage. Opening the door, doesn't look too bad. It's fairly clean. The door panel, the weather stripping doesn't look bad around the edge of the door. Checking the bottom of the door. It's in decent condition, looking in the jams. See the interior, there's a couple little rips in the seat here. Passenger seat's good. Back seat's good as well. And we'll try to drop this top here in the video. I think it is power, okay. I do see power in there. For the top. Coming across the dash here, it's in good shape clean your mirror's got some pitting on it from the years you see that <laughs> all right go ahead and pull these this is what drops the top down and we'll start her up here <laughs> Water temperature is 160. Blower motor is on, it does work. Oil pressure's at 40. The radio does not work on this one. Tack, it's coming up. Go ahead and place your bets. You think the horn works? Be checking that out after uh, we put the top down. So let's see here. Top goes down nice and fast. And here it going down. Deal. Let's try this horn out. Ready? Did you place your bets? <laughs> See how easy it, windows roll down. Pretty smooth. This back one's a little stiff here probably be a lot easier with two hands I'll get it after when I can maneuver it around with both hands here we'll try this one out comes down nice and easy let's try this back one be easier with two hands like I said but deal I have to use both of my hands probably get it back up so there we go okay Check it out under the hood here. I think 
think we got a little bit of a valve cover leak in the back. It may just need to be tightened down. And actually looking at it, these look like fairly new seals inside here. But I think what it's doing is it's coming down the back and dripping right there on the corner of the exhaust. Every once in a while, I see a little spoof of smoke coming up. And since they're new, they may just need to be tightened down. I may get to that when I get back to the lot. There's only about four or five bolts on here, so. Pretty smooth running motor. Under the hood, can be touched up a little bit. Quit shut it down, see how it lines up. There is a few of these water marks that I'm seeing. And you got a little chip right here. Also a chip here in the nose. All right, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. We're gonna start in the front, go all the way around the car. And then I want you to see the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's look under this one. Also looked like there was a little bit of an exhaust leak coming from underneath there. It's probably the older gaskets. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you want to get financing, shipping information, under detailed pictures, check out maplemotors.com. Also hit that subscribe button to see daily content from us. I'll be posting videos just like this, along with a test drive of every car. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again.